All right, guys, so it's uh, May 13th here, uh, Saturday morning. We are in the shop getting the truck finalized, ready to go with its new gear setup to go test uh, out in Placer City again on our loop. Um, I didn't really film too much in between because all we did was change out the third member. That took like, no time at all, so we just put that back in, got ready to go. Now we got our new setup in there, and we're going to go test that at uh, our loop that we uh, came up with last uh, time we went out there. And... Um, see if it's any faster so yeah we're gonna get it all loaded up and ready to go all right guys so we just got out to plaster city uh got the truck all ready to go looking good uh put our new gear in and we're gonna go test it and see what we can uh um, find out about uh just how much faster it is or slower it is in some areas so we're super pumped to find all this new info out and uh can't wait to get after we got joel witted out here so he's gonna do a couple laps after me and uh, get a feel for the truck for the next race so we're thinking maybe the next race is Vegas Serena now. We're not really sure, but um, yeah, we're gonna see what we can find out. Matthew, what'd you think of that run? Ah, testing's going good. We're getting faster, um, getting stuff dialed in. Uh, truck felt real good. Pushed hard. Um, temps were all good. Speed was good. Driver was good. Thank you. Um, no, I think we're learning and getting better, so that's what it's all about. Yeah, no, that, that run was a success for sure. We gained a bunch of times, so super good. And then when we come back out the next time, we're supposed to do another thing to the truck that's even going to make it even faster. So we're super excited and, you know, it's a huge success um, just to, you know, know the difference between the two gears. So now Joel's going to get in and take it for a run.
That <laughs> fucking means you had fun. Woo. How was that? All right, so Joel just got back from his run. Uh, the truck looked awesome. It was actually one of my first times being able to just kind of watch the truck through the, uh, just going in the pickup truck alongside the road. And oh, it was so cool. I mean, it, the truck's just wrapped out, going as fast as it can go down the, the you know, whooped out road. So Matthew, what'd you think about it? It was awesome. Both of you guys did great. We did, uh, we had success. We were faster in our lap time. All the temps stayed good that we wanted. Freaking truck uh, felt really good, handled well. So yeah, we couldn't ask for anything more. For sure, yeah, no. We took uh, lap times, both of us, and we we're super close, so super excited. Can't wait to you know get out to the next race and uh, see what me and Joel can do, so yeah. All right, guys, so we're back in the shop after testing for the second time. Um, so this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, keep the same third member in, and we're just changing out the torque converter. So we're changing it out to a different um, stall and see what it does when we go out there. It should, this one should run a little bit higher RPMs, uh, hopefully be a little quicker. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna see what it does out there. So basically what we're doing is we unattach the drive line, um, gotta basically move the transmission back a little bit, undo all the bolts down there, and then we can put down the new one. So what I'm doing is helping him by cranking over the motor um uh manually just by your hand and uh get it so you can undo all the bolts so that he can unbolt it pull it out and then we can put the new one in so that's basically all we're doing right now um we're not changing anything we're keeping the same amount of fuel same tires everything the same so that next time we go out to test it's all the same as before so we can make sure it's all equal so yeah we're gonna get back to work right now and uh finish it up all right guys it's uh may 21st here we're at the shop right now getting the truck ready to go to uh, go do some more tests in our day. So this will be the third test um, on our test loop that we have. Uh, we're going to be trying uh, a different setup today uh, that should be more suitable for about high, uh, high speed races, stuff like that. So we're going to see how it uh, works out and see what the time uh, compares to our last couple runs. So we're super pumped and uh, can't wait to get out there. So yeah, we're going to load the truck up right now and uh, head out to Foster City. All right, guys, we just got out to Placer City. It's blistering hot out here, over 100 degrees, but we got to get our test run in. Um, we're going to do one run today. Just came out here. I mean, we live 20 minutes away, so it's not really a problem for us to come out here. So we're going to come out here and do a couple runs, well, maybe one or two runs, get the timing on our loop, and uh, see what it compares to the runs before. So we're super excited to just see the difference. You know, we are, today we're running a, a higher stall torque converter. Um, with a different type of gear and we're just gonna see how that runs compared to our last setup uh, The last setup was 10 seconds faster than the setup before so hopefully today we can make some more improvements That would be awesome But yeah, we're gonna get out there have some fun. So enjoy these clips and uh, yeah
That was that was a crazy run right there. We uh we definitely learned a lot. Um, that that setup right there was probably the hardest it's ever been to drive the truck. So we actually beat our time by a second, and I even messed up two corners. So if that doesn't tell you it was hard to drive, then it, then yeah. But oh, I mean it was a lot faster like on the straightaways and stuff. It was easy. it was fine to drive it there, but. As soon as you got into just technical rough stuff, it was just all over the place. I just had a hard time keeping it straight. Um, I think this gear setup right here would be like a really good setup for qualifying at certain places, a select few places. But overall in a race, I don't think it would work very good. The transmission was up a lot. It is hot out here, but every test so far has been hot anyway, and it hasn't got up that high. Uh, transmission actually got up to about 300, so that's not good for race day. Um, long races, you want to be able to make sure it's going to be reliable. So. I think the last setup was going to be the the ticket for the next race and um either we'll send this this torque converter back in and change something up and try something else or we'll sell it get something else for the truck or just keep it as a spare so all in all it was a good thing to learn what it would do um it was a good investment to see uh what it would do for the truck and uh, for the team so i'm super happy about it truck ran great um about 50 miles of testing absolutely zero problems uh me and my dad did a great job on the prep so we're super excited about that uh it's really rewarding when you come out here you know f when you finish the uh, races stuff like that and nothing's wrong with the truck it's just a real good uh feeling you know so we're gonna load it up and get back to the house and uh basically from here on out it's just cleaning cleaning the truck up and then we're doing some uh, cool upgrades to it like uh, we got our new uh, radio that we're gonna be putting into it pretty soon here uh, thanks to Mark Callen, he's gonna be coming over to the shop pretty soon here and doing some work. Uh, we got a wire in the Garmin. Uh, got to wire up some lights. Uh, we already got some of the ball designs right there, but we have a couple more to put in for Vegas Torino. Hopefully, it won't be in the dark, but you never know. So yeah, pretty good success, and uh, we're gonna load it up and get going. See you guys.